tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. Conditions right now across Ames, 87 degrees with winds up the south, feels like 91. It's been a warm day out there, and we're going to continue to see that as we go throughout the weekend. Pinpoint Doppler radar, that's the story tonight, where we'll see showers and thunderstorms developing across the state of Iowa. I-35 corridor, there's our topic of interest. You can see showers developing from the northern parts of Iowa, Mason City, all the way down to the northern parts of Ames. We'll continue to see those showers and storms develop throughout the night. Eventually, those will move out for the day tomorrow and for the upcoming weekend. Keep it here on size eyes on the skies as we go throughout our show tonight. Plus, Jason has your national forecast, all that and more, as this Thursday, September 19th, 2024 edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Broadcasting live from the studios at Iowa State University, the Iowa State Meteorology Department brings you the latest weather from across the country and out your front door. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Good evening. I'm your host, Matthew Glansman. We'll begin with tonight's weather story. 21 years ago today, frog Ains eggs rained on Berlin, Connecticut during a rain shower from Hurricane Isabel. Since frogs in Connecticut do not lay eggs so late in the year, scientists believed that the storm had carried the eggs from its landfall point in North Carolina more than 500 miles away. And now, to discuss more with that happening around the country, here's Jason with your national forecast. Hey Jason, what are we looking at today? Well, today we're looking at a tornado threat in Minnesota. There's some severe weather up there. And then a cold through will move through midweek, impacting the impacting the Midwest and most of the western part of the country, and above average temperatures continue throughout the East Coast. It only takes a careless moment to turn this into this. Don't let forest fires be your fault. Make sure your fire is dead out. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Welcome back. Now let's go to the national forecast with Jason. Jason, let's see what's going on in the country. Well, I'll tell you. Um, today, it's pretty mild out there. It's 94 in Dallas, and up into the northeast, it is still very mild with a 71 up there in Canada. Um, taking a look at the big picture radar, here's the storms we're gonna be talking about moving through Minnesota. There's also some strong storms moving through Kansas, some showers out in Nevada and California, and also a little system up here in the Northeast impacting the New York area. All right, let's look at the, those watches and warnings. We got the severe thunderstorm watch down in Kansas, and this big cluster of tornado watch and tornado warnings up in Minnesota. Right now, there's one ongoing tornado warning up crossing the Wisconsin border into Wisconsin, and there have been some tornadoes today, so if you live in northern Minnesota and down into southern Minnesota and Iowa, stay sky aware and just look out as there's some strong storms heading your way. Um, looking at the bigger picture, zoomed out view, this severe threat goes from northern Minnesota all the way down into Kansas. And the big things to look out for are going to be, there's a low risk of flooding, but the biggest risk we're watching is the wind and tornado risk as these storms will congeal into a big line and cause some gusty winds out there. So stay sky aware for those. Looking into this weekend, we're going to see a cold front move through the Midwest. 
So here it goes down through the Midwest. That's into your Sunday and Monday. And that'll bring this warm summer stretch of temperatures to an end for the Midwest and West. We'll see cooler weather move in throughout from Canada, but the warm weather will continue down in the Southeast. Atlanta, Dallas, even the East Coast, you're gonna stay warm and it's gonna feel like summer out there. So let's look at Denver. They're gonna get hit hard by this cold front. Today, feels like summer out there. It's 89 and sunny, beautiful weather. And as we move into this weekend, you'll see temps just plummet. It'll go from 89 down to 59 in the stretch of two days. This, these shower chances will be associated with that cold front moving through. But the cold front doesn't last too long. As you'll see, temperatures rebound pretty, pretty quickly and you'll get a 75 and by the end of this week, you'll be looking at 80 again. And now it's time for our favorite segment. Thanks to Jason for completing that national forecast. It's time for our trivia question for the evening. In what year did the last EF5 rated tornado, which is the most powerful category, occur in the United States? Is it option A, 2011, B, 2013, C, 2016, or D, 2020? We'll have that answer for you at the end of the show. Plus, we'll have your Iowa weather after the break. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your Iowa weather with Jax. Hey Jax, we're seeing some severe storms up uh, in the Midwest up there. Yeah, we sure are. So we'll, we'll take a look at pinpoint Doppler radar here in a second, and we'll see uh, some showers and storms across portions of the uh, mid part of uh, Iowa, as you can see uh, on our, our pinpoint Doppler radar there. You'll see storm development across the I-35 corridor. We talked about it earlier. We're gonna continue to see it as we go throughout the evening tonight. Fort Dodge, Iowa Falls, you're included in this type of uh, the precipitation falling right now. We'll see a severe thunderstorm warning issued by the National Weather Service near Mason City and points off to the north and east to Coral La Crosse, Fountain City, and points off to the north and east of those cities are going to continue to see rain as we go through the next couple of hours. Our severe weather outlook for today, we'll see throughout the entire Midwest, there's a line that's developing. We're gonna see that, that, that type of uh, precipitation as long with the severe weather threat from that continue from Missouri all the way to points as far north as Duluth, Minnesota. Active alerts right now with that issued by the National Weather Service. You can see by Mason City, severe thunderstorm warning there. As far north as Minneapolis, we'll see a severe thunderstorm warning along with that severe thunderstorm watch in effect. Futurecast will take us through the rest of the night tonight and into the upcoming weekend. We'll see those showers move off to the east. By 1130 tonight, by about that midnight hour, we'll see those showers and storms move off into the east, into ports of Illinois. As we move into Friday, 630 a.m. on Friday morning, we're gonna see most of the state of Iowa Maybe some scattered clouds, some showers here or there, but we'll see most of the day very dry. As we move throughout the day on Friday, we'll continue to see those mostly clear skies. Maybe a little clouds here in the southwestern portions of the state. As we move into the later part on Friday, we'll continue to see those showers and thunderstorms redevelop. And by Saturday, we're going to see more showers and storms develop by the later part of the day. Looks to be good for game time, 83 degrees, mostly sunny skies, but you can see by 6.30, maybe end of the game, we'll see more of those showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures right now across the state, Mason City impacted by that rain-cooled air, 72 degrees. 76 in Decorah, also seeing some rain-cooled air. Carroll at 82, as well as Creston at 82. Des Moines, you're at 85 for tonight. Dew points along the cold front we'll see. Spencer at 56 and 57. As we move to the eastern portion of the cold, or before the cold front, we'll see Ames at 68, Des Moines at 68, Waterloo at 67. Our skycast for tomorrow, we're gonna see temperatures near 88 degrees. It's gonna be a warm one. Summer-like temperatures under a mostly sunny sky, winds out of the southwest at about 5 to 10. Our game day forecast, we talked about it earlier. By kickoff, we're going to be at 83 degrees. For most of our, our day, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, but as we move into the nighttime hours, looking for any of those college kids out there looking for some shindig activities, 71 degrees with some overnight uh, partly cloudy skies and some showers and thunderstorms. So make sure you pack a rain jacket or anything that you're going to keep you very safe. 
The week ahead, we'll see an Ames, we'll see a dip in our temperatures as we go into Sunday and Monday, 65, 66. As we move into the latter part of next week, we'll see temperatures very pleasant, 71 degrees for Tuesday, 74 Wednesday, 75 for Thursday. Thank you, Jax, for that forecast. Now, uh, I think it's time to get to what we've all been waiting for. Let's review tonight's trivia question. The trivia question was, in what year did the last EF5 rated tornado occur in the United States? Was it option A, 2011, option B, 2013, C, 2016, or D, 2020? What are we thinking, guys? You know, I, I remember a severe weather season in 2020. I'm going to have to go with 2020. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty recent, too. What about you, Jason? I haven't seen an EF5 in a while. I think it's going to be 2011. 2011, that's a good guess. Let's see what the answer is. And the answer is B, 2013. Ah, none of us are right, guys. <laughs> that EF5 tornado struck Moore, Oklahoma on May 13th, 2013. It had winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Sounds about right for an EF5, right, guys? I'll tell you what, long oh. time ago, 2013. All right. Don't remember that one. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to follow us on X slash Twitter, and you can find all of our shows on YouTube under Size Eyes channel. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful night.